How exciting to see all those new lions. We have found something equally as fierce as a lion, as a young bull elephant. Obviously, as soon as we arrived, somebody came running through the bushes and splaying his ears and making all sorts of noises. But I think he's realized now that we are not really going to be scared off that easily. So he's calmed down and he's happily eating away. I think there's quite a big herd around us, although we can pretty much see this youngster over here and just another one at the back. Because they were making quite a bit of noise earlier, so I wonder if also perhaps there's a bigger, bigger bull, much bigger than this little one that we're looking at, that's giving the females a bit of trouble. Because when they start screaming that way, it's normally because there's something that's really annoyed them. Now you see he's got a bit of a leak on his temporal glands and so does the mother. So I wonder, hello, you're looking quite nice now. Look at all those wrinkles in his forehead. Maybe this is one of those worried youngsters that's constantly thinking about something. Uh, he's doing one of the things that I love about Ellie. So if you just have a close look at his feet and his trunk, so he starts using both the feet and the trunk to be able to get the grass out because sometimes he can't push it out. Poof! And then you see he just created some tension and then went and kicked the grass very quickly with his foot and then that's the way that they managed to pull it out. And they, it's a trick that they learn from their mothers and they start doing it from very early on. However, they need to first dominate the skills with their, <laughs> with their trunk and know how to use their trunk properly before they can attempt in doing any of these things. You see, he's been doing it all around with everything that he's been eating. So whatever it is that he is a bit hard for him to take out, then he just kicks it. Carter, you're 12 years old and you'd like to know how big does an elephant get? Well, very big. So they can normally get up to three, three and a half meters or so, just to the shoulder. So I would say it's maybe three times as much as me, maybe, I don't know, I wish I could relate it to something, but uh, maybe the size of a truck, the big, tr well, not a, the biggest truck, a medium-sized truck. I think that's probably the best way that I can put it. They are the biggest land mammal that we have, the biggest animal that roams all of the African savannah, so, and they are the biggest one by far. So as you can imagine, they're not easy task. Even the little ones, when they are born, they're about 100 kilograms. So even when they're born, they are about maybe whew, way, way heavier, maybe um, 80 times <laughs> heavier than an average newborn human. You see this youngster, I think he's probably around maybe three, four years old. So if you can just imagine if you've got any brothers or sisters or cousins or if you just think of any of the other kids at your school, just think how much bigger, whatever it is that he looks on the screen, they would probably only be about up to the shoulder or yes, the elbow of the elephant. That's maybe just how big it could be. Fortunately, I'm not going to go out and show you how big he is compared to me because although he's younger than me, he is a lot stronger than me. I'm hoping that he will want to come and have a bit more water so while I wait for him to do that why don't we go over to Taylor who's got something exciting to show to us.